This third problem says a chocolate company is doing a promotion where one in 500 chocolate bars will have a hundred dollar bill inside of them. If each chocolate bar costs two dollars, what is the expected loss from buying a chocolate bar? So what we need to do is we need to define the values and the probability of those values. First off, we know that if we buy a chocolate bar, you could win a hundred dollars. That's the value. But what's the probability of that? Well, the probability is just one out of 500 because it said that one in 500 chocolate bars will have this. So that's the probability. It's just one over 500. Now, there's another value that you need to think of. It says that each chocolate bar costs $2, right? And to get this $100 bill, you'd have to buy a $2 chocolate bar, right? And if we're buying, the, if we're buying that chocolate bar, that's minus $2, right? Because we're losing $2 to buy this chocolate bar. And what's the probability of this? Well, if we buy a chocolate bar, we're guaranteed to lose $2, right? That's how much it costs, unless you're stealing, but I wouldn't encourage that. So the probability of this is 100%, or you can just write that as 1. And then now all you need to do is multiply the values by the probabilities and then add them up. So let's do this here. So first we have 1 over 500 times $100. And then we have to add that to 1 times minus $2 because you're going to lose $2 every time you buy a chocolate bar. And now we just compute this and add. 1 over 500 times 100. Let me just rewrite this as uh, 100 over 500. And therefore that's just 1 fifth. And 1 fifth is just 0.2. And then 1 times negative 2 is obviously just negative 2. Oops. And then minus, uh, 0.2 minus 2 is just negative 1.8. So let me just rewrite that minus sign on the outside and put a dollar sign in here. So this says, on average, if you bought lots and lots of chocolate bars, you would lose $1.8 for every chocolate bar. So this is our expected value.